Welcome to Wallach. From heart pounding near misses to jaw dropping feats of driving skills, this voyage promises to keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Without further ado, let's hit the road and discover the excitement that awaits. Stop at least 15 to 50 feet from the tracks when lights are flashing or gates are lowered, even if you don't see a train approaching. Oh, Crancho! This is why you need to equip your vehicle with winter tires. Lucky are they? Glad there were no injuries. Everyone be vigilant and observant of your surroundings, especially when approaching intersections, alleys, or side streets. I hope he learns his lesson after all. Glad he's okay. Nobody got hurt. I hope the dash cam owner will stop instead of continuing when he sees the car in front losing control. Well, a modicum of caution and a reduced speed would be considered prudent, trust me. Damn, he broke it a bit. Yeah. Why is he going with him? Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment below. Young forever. Maybe that's why there is a concrete wall out there. Drive carefully, everyone. Man, you had to look at the vehicle approaching from behind. Well, that was close. Anyway, there were no collisions. This would be the start if, they, if that's the grand. Oh dear, he may have been distracted. He will have a thousand dollar fine for this. Well, that was an epic pit maneuver. Remain calm and composed when you notice traffic slowing down. Avoid sudden lane changes, bro. Hmm, it must have been slippery. I see the BMW driver driving slow. Oh, that is a stolen truck. The suspect was then arrested. This truck had completely That's unsecured load of floor planks, and one pack it's fell out directly out. in front of a cop. It just fell out. Sweet justice. Oh my, a truck was spotted gliding down a road in Vandalia, Indiana, as winter weather battered the area on February 16th, 2024. No, I probably forgot he had a trailer. I hope the driver was able to get the plates and report him. Oh 
always use your turn signals to indicate your intentions to other drivers. If another driver cuts you off, remain calm and take a deep breath. Ah, turn your head and look behind you, mate. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment with number one. As long as you keep a safe distance, even if the car in front of you stops suddenly, you have enough time to brake. Be alert, folks. No, don't cut the bus off like that. The white pickup, you are responsible if you cause an incident, whether you expected them to stop or not. Fortunately, it was only clothing and pillows in the bag. This is a similar case. Even though this is a common sight, don't take it for granted. Obey traffic laws, mate. Oh my, someone forgot how roundabouts work. Man, allow the emergency vehicle to pass by yielding the right of way. Do not attempt to block or obstruct its path. What was wrong with him? Glad there were no injuries. The winter storm that blew through Utah in March of 2020 caused a chain reaction incident in Wyoming. The time to open the road is 28 hours after the event. Yeah, this is the blue truck right here. Right, right. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People always used to speed down the street. Finally, the town put in a speed bump. Despite the signs, people flew over it, causing some damage to their vehicles. If you're unsure of your car's height, width, and length, you should glance at the vehicle's inspection certification once. Man, don't do that. Yes. Oh, yes. okay, good. Yes. Yeah. He was driving along the expressway. Suddenly, it dropped out of a trailer and hit his car. Badly unlucky, and the dash cam can't capture the trailer plate number. This is a similar case.
No, he legit turned right in front of. I don't know if he got a ticket. This happened at Williamstown, Sickleville Road. This dash cam will help the insurance a great deal. Holy f man. We got a bad accident out here. Some guy just went off the road. He plowed into me. The driver of the cube is determined at fault by insurance. Stay alert, people. That is truly a close call. How lucky are they? Let's like and subscribe so that they don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. Fortunately, there was no vehicle in the oncoming lane. As a driver, I would normally avoid traveling next to a truck. Best to quickly overtake. You just never know what will happen. Oh, it's truly instant karma. This makes me satisfied. Oops, pay more attention, man. It's just that you don't have enough distance between you and the other car behind you. Pay attention, guy. This was in Montreal City, Canada. Can't believe he leaves his car in front of the driveway and runs away. Do not imitate this. He should have turned on the turn signal so that he could merge. Whoops, I bet a combination of cheap tires and about 20 kilometers too fast. A dash cam video shows the multi-vehicle pileup that closed down a snowy Interstate 70. Not a good one. And he was staring at you for going too slow. Yeah, he was mad at me for going too slow. Oh, oh yeah. this is yeah. the yeah. 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 Hope someone gets that guy who carelessly caused the wreck. Wow, that's one beautiful pick. Thank you to the officer doing a great job. Oh, 
call it. Be patient, mate. When lights and arms come down, stop. Always securely tie or attach goods to a good vehicle to prevent their falling off from the vehicle. Kudos to motorcycles for being good citizens. CPS Trooper dash cam shows Aguila Maduros, semi-truck, speeding by before getting into trouble. To figure out where the sound originated, I had to watch it twice. Anyway, all of them are fine. That incident cost the employee his job. He, of all people, should have known better. Everyone is okay. Canadian Pacific freight train cars derailed in Franklin Park. No injuries were reported and no hazardous materials were released. The tracks were cleared in hours. I believe the insurance payment will go more smoothly thanks to the dash cam. Wow, the driver is safe and very lucky to be alive. They were both able to walk away from it without too many issues. Totaled his truck when this guy drove into his lane. The guy admitted to being on his phone in the police report. A speeding truck in a construction zone locks up brakes. There were no injuries and no collisions. If you overtake it carelessly, you will be in the truck's blind spot. Stay off the right side of the truck. Let's use it as a reference. Whatever your speed, you always have to consider the possibility of falling. He is okay. Let's drive cars and bikes safely, folks. No one was hurt. Oh my, how can they get a driver's license? Probably this is the least expensive way to learn the lessons of looking before backing up and having awareness of what's in front of you that they could learn. What did you know? Elena! A gray Honda Civic swerves into the lane to avoid having to stop behind traffic. Both pulled over at the first safe location to do so and exchanged information. This is the reason not to run a red light, folks. Stopping at red lights makes you get to your destination sooner, trust me. Oh my, this guy was going too fast. Speed up according to weather, bro. No way, did he fall asleep or is he drunk? Hope he has good insurance. Beep. 
Not sure how this cement is transported, but I damn hope it is not wet cement. The road is going to be so uneven and probably too unsafe for bikers. Everyone, always on your guard, stay alert. Slow moving traffic doesn't mean nothing will happen. Well, the maximum fine for this can be $2,200. Where is he going? <laughs> A truck changes lanes but fails to check before changing lanes, and it looks like the truck can't brake in time and swerve to avoid collision with the front car. Not sure if rule 8 applies here. It is bad parking. Well, I think he needs to invest in a better quality dash cam. Oh my god! No freaking. This happened on Main Street near Highway 74, entrance to Wingate University. Glad no injuries occurred during the incident, and there was no threat of any hazardous material leaking out into the area. This is between Tucker and 7th along Gradiot Street, St. Louis in U.S. This is when you didn't pay attention in physics class. I like to double fasten everything. I guess you guys do too. That is so scary. Fortunately, everyone is fine. Good for him to get on CB to warn other drivers to back it down. I hope no one was seriously injured. The Honda, while overtaking a truck on the right, touched the side of the road, causing the car to skid. The driver is safe. If you need to stop for any reason within the tunnel, activate your hazard lights to alert other drivers to the potential obstruction. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Bro, don't risk avoiding jail. You should stop breaking the law. Be patient, bro. Don't change lanes right into a truck's blind spot. The car obviously is at fault in this case. Who is at fault? You decide. Oh dear, when cornering also slow down bro. No, bro, what are you thinking? Do not imitate this. Wow, that is so close. Good job, homie. Oh, no. I'll allow someone to overtake me if they have to.
Hopefully, when he stops at the next red light, he'll pay attention. This car pulls out in front of the truck, failing to stop. Everyone knows trucks couldn't stop on a dime, especially on snowy roads. Whoops! The result of a driver who failed to remove snow from his vehicle. This guy collided with the dash cam owner and then tried to get in his truck. Glad he wasn't able to get into the truck. Well, someone forgot how roundabouts work. Hope both don't stand there holding up the traffic. If I was behind them, I'd go mad. Ensure that all windows and mirrors are clear of snow and ice. Clear visibility is essential for safe driving in adverse weather. Legally, BMW shouldn't change lanes at intersections, and Van has the right of way, but don't act like that, Van. Hey man, in this scenario, you should have a tow truck escort. It happens to everyone, so be careful. He's okay. Wow, I'm glad there wasn't an oncoming car. The driver of the striking vehicle was taken into custody on scene. The offending vehicle had to have been traveling over 100 miles an hour. Fortunately, no one was hurt. People, this is the consequence of running a red light. Do not imitate this. This incident was the dash cam owner's fault. It cost about $1,000 to repair it. No! No! Hmm, the incident involved due to overcorrection, right? Be careful, everyone. You can see the impact in the side view mirror. Just a light clip. Everyone is safe. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.